Behind farm shed doors across Australia sits machinery worth hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars. Machinery purchases are big ticket items for Australian grain growers, who are often presented with differing opinions around investment options. That's why GRDC initiated a two-year project to develop a comprehensive guide for growers in Australia's cropping regions to support informed decision-making around machinery purchases. Farm machinery investment questions are often laboured over uh, and making sure that you've got uh, I guess an, uh, an investment that's adequate to do the job efficiently uh, and effectively uh, is important first and foremost, but also making sure that you're not overcapitalised. The guide contains data relevant across GRDC's northern and southern cropping regions. It features 30 case studies gleaned from information provided by more than 450 growers, including Darren's Andrew Todd, who shared their machinery purchase and ownership experiences compared to industry averages for similar farm operations. Andrew's machine investments are matched to meet Darren's low rainfall and sandy soils constraints. He says depreciation, which the guide examines, is a big issue in a market where new machinery values are rising rapidly. We picked this one up second hand in February this year. The new ones we priced up were fairly exy and not available in time for this year's program. So yeah, pick this one up used. Fair enough. The guide's tools include a new benchmarking formula for growers to calculate their machinery investment levels relative to their overall farm profit. Calculating the ratio against the average is based on the value of a grower's farm plant, adding labour costs, maintenance and contracting, and then pitching that against gross farm income. Once they've done that, that ratio of those costs versus gross farm income should be about 0.34. If you're on the lower side of that, you're more efficient with your farm machinery investment than perhaps other peers. Uh, if you're on the higher side, you might be a little bit overcapitalised when it comes to farm machinery. The traditional measure has been machinery investment per uh, croppable hectare or perhaps per tonne of grain produced, where this guide or this ratio, if you like, is taking into consideration maintenance, labour and also the use of contracting, which is uh, very relevant and something that the previous measures probably haven't taken consideration of. The guide also encourages growers to maintain an up-to-date machinery value inventory, especially with rising costs and tighter access across machinery supply. And the guide will be continually updated to match changing industry pressures. The ratio that, that uh, has been developed there will continue to evolve. I think there might be things that might get added to that in time as farming businesses change. Uh, and of course, you know, we've got challenges with uh, uh, seasonal staff, etc. Uh, and potentially, you know, the, the rise of autonomy within a farm business might see some of those numbers change a little bit. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.